Welcome back to Not So Grand Garage. Out of the shop and figured I'd give you a quick update on our rainwater system. It's been a long time since I've done anything on it. And that's because it's been a long time since I've messed with it. So, let's get right into it. As you can notice we've got two tanks here now so uh, each one's 1550 gallon and we've got our little uh, pump house mostly framed out ran out of two by four so it's not done but I wanted to get uh, get it under roof yeah eh, it's a little janky that's okay it was free so anyways we've got our tanks plumbed together down here on the bottom, valves on each side. We've got the top sides plumbed together, the overflows as well. This here will be coming out, go down, get buried, and uh, go out into the woods. And we've got our uh, our pump set up started. I just started plumbing this in. Got uh, I made a rookie mistake and did not put a check valve on the supply side, so. Got a check valve coming that's got a union built in, so I'm going to cut this right behind this union, glue in the new check valve, and that'll be my service union and check valve all in one. And it should fit right in here, real nice. I'll have that tomorrow, but uh, yeah, this right here is coming off. Everything is valved, got a union right here for service as well. The pump works, works really well, but uh, yeah, this side here is just outside the outside spigots for watering the garden and such this here is going to go up into our uh, filter bank and everything which is still in the house which we mounted on the walls and then it can be supplied into the house and be potable so oh, we got a few things to do yet i've got to go get the well pressure tank uh, it's a bladder tank i think i'm going to go with like a 36 gallon something like that that'll fit over there in that corner and then Along the walls, I'm gonna have our UV light filter, particulate filters, carbon block, and all that. We'll be up on the wall, easily serviceable. As you can see, yeah, I'll have to duck down to come in here, but I wanted this small, so I'm gonna insulate it really well, and it'll be, should be easier to keep everything from freezing. That way I can keep all this stuff hooked up a little longer. Hopefully, as long as we don't get down into the single digits for a long period, I should be able to have this full until then we'll see i am going to pipe wrap everything and uh put heat trace on all the plumbing yet but uh details right so anyways the outside spigot is completely separate for everything in the house comes over comes along the back porch and is just centered on the back porch excuse the mess because i've been uh, messing with this stuff all weekend so i've got stuff drugged back here and out of the way but uh, yeah, that leaves me water line to water the gardens, fill the chicken water, water fruit trees, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it's coming along slowly but surely. Now once, uh, once that side's all done, these are my original four rainwater tanks I had set up. They're 275 gallon each, they're food grade. I need to clean them out because they're nasty. But I'm going to set these four up, filling off this gutter back here. I'm just gonna line them up right here. So that'll be another, what, 1,100 gallons or so. If my math is right, it'll be uh, yeah, 550, 550, yeah, 1,100. Another 1,100 gallons of water right here, which I'm going to come up with a way to pump them over into the big tanks for like uh, drought season, which we're in right now. But uh, yeah, yeehaw. So, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up. If you got any comments, questions, complaints, drop them in the comment section below. Uh, if you want to support the channel, uh, I've got a PayPal account set up. Link to that is in the description of the video. You can use uh, Super Thanks also. We've got that enabled. If you would, hit that like button. It really helps us out and doesn't cost you anything. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We appreciate you watching.